If walls could talk, where would the voice come from? In the case of one Halifax home, from within. Renovations led to a fascinating discovery. Among the trove of aged, warped pages, a face of a woman unknown to them. In the photo, she wears a high-collar, ruffled blouse, hair that's neatly coiffed. I think it's quite old. I think it's over 100 years old. I'm not a historian, really, and I'm not a fashion expert by any stretch. But when I look at the, the clothing that she's wearing, my guess is that she's the photo was taken in the late 1800s or very early 1900s. A little sleuthing. Warford discovers the photo was taken in Halifax by one Harry J. Moss. She wants to find this woman's family. There's so much history packed into these homes. Um, and there's a lot of families like that grew in these houses that found, you know, that found their footing, um, that kind of grew up together in these houses that we would just, you know, we would love to, to kind of give back to the families that created a space that was available for us to move in at the right time for us. The house itself is a time capsule. It's one of the many built for families displaced by the Halifax explosion in 1917. Some items date their findings. A rent receipt from 1924 for $25 and a Christmas card that never made it to its destination. The Burns family was the second family to live here. And in, in 1923, they tried to send a card to Dorchester, Massachusetts, and it never, it never went. And it's just, you know, and that's just, it's such a relatable thing. The artifacts are a snapshot of life from that time. We found a Simpsons catalog from 1930 to 31, um, and they're advertising, it's, it's very pandemic-esque. They're advertising if you get your order in by 3.30, they will guarantee delivery the next day, which is sort of something that we've seen popping up again recently. One of my favorites is a coupon that says this coupon and five cents entitles any school child to admission to the Halifax Poultry and Pet Show to be held at the Armories November 29, 30, and December 1st and 2nd. There's something about that that just, <laughs> I just think is so cool. With the renovations complete, the house is up for sale. Warford has put a call out on social media to see if they can find the mystery woman's family. She says more mysteries may still await the next owners. We didn't open up any walls upstairs, so who's to say what's hiding on the next floor? Bob Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.